hey guys welcome back to my channel uh so yes you're probably wondering why in the world do i look like this so i wanted to do another foundation review i bought this new foundation it's from lottie london this is the selfie ready medium coverage matte foundation this is on ulta.com this has four and a half stars this doesn't claim um any like lasting power as to like 12 hour wear uh, 14 hour wear things like that let me see let me read you the claims it says always ready for your close-up with lottie london's buildable selfie ready medium coverage matte foundation perfectly balanced to cover blemishes and even skin tone while leaving skin looking naturally flawless it also has vitamin c it's a water-based foundation enriched with vitamin C. I hope I got my right color. This is soft sand. I will be doing a check-in. I'm hoping to do two. Um, I'll just be home all day doing, you know, cleaning and cooking and whatnot. So it's, it's okay if I look a hot mess because <laughs> I won't be going anywhere. Oh, also this is 0 0.98 ounces. It's not even a full ounce that i'm not too happy about this is 7.99 uh so it is on the more affordable side and on ulta's site they have 10 colors to choose from for the primers i'm going to use the hourglass veil minimal minimal <laughs> minimal primer it's a little deluxe size and the smashbox photo finish pore minimizing this i'm just going to apply in the middle of my face before I put the foundation I am going to use my Kat Von D locket setting powder I'm just applying this in the areas I normally get oily All right, let me zoom you in. Now it's time for this foundation. Let's see. Hmm. Hmm. Looks a little light. Which I was worried about that, but. This is, yeah, this is a little light. First impressions, it's okay. Uh, it is kind of like clinging on to some patches on my nose, the tip of my nose. Seems pretty matte. Yeah, it is matte actually. <laughs> so I'm going to finish up the rest of my face and I will be right back. Okay, I'm back and... Yeah, so I'm going to try on another product, which is for my lips. It is pretty much a first impression as well. Um, this is from Wet n Wild. It's their liquid cat suit. Mega last liquid cat suit. This is in a color very recognized. And I've never tried any of the liquid lipsticks. I've been wanting to. And I figure why not also try it on camera. Let me take off my lip balm. I've been into a lot of berry colors lately. I don't know. I don't know why. But I just am. Never was. Never really was. Uh, the scent kind of reminds me of Lime Crime. Like that like a soft chemical sense, right? If that makes any sense. <laughs> I don't know. Mm. 
That went on smooth. Okay guys, that is it for now. I will be checking in. Hopefully I'll do two check-ins. But so far so good. Um, I'm really liking it. Like how my face looks. It's, it looks matte. It looks good. Um, so yes, everything went on great on top of it. I'm hoping this foundation works out. I'm really liking how everything is looking right now. At least... In person, I don't know how it looks on camera right now, so ooh, we'll see. We'll see about that. Right now, it is 137, so I will try and check in maybe 330, 330, 4:30. I see you guys in two to three hours. Hey, so I am doing a check-in. It's four o'clock. I'm trying to get like natural lighting, but it's raining outside, so I don't want to like you know step outside hmm. this is how the foundation is pretty much looking um yeah seems to be holding up pretty well the lipstick as well honestly i've been drinking some water i had a yogurt i'm about to eat some lunch a late lunch i know don't judge me um but so far like it's pretty good it feels fine it feels like i have nothing on my face honestly and yeah so i'm pretty impressed i will do a last check-in um yeah i'll do a last check-in around seven ish around there all right bye hey guys so i'm back and this is my last check-in Ooh, it is 705 right now my lips are still pretty much intact and all that so i'm just gonna zoom you in hopefully this is close enough i am i am pretty oily i didn't touch up anything on my face like my blurring powder or anything like that this is just all natural uh so yes i am pretty dewy especially around my nose um, I did blow my nose at one point, so it did come off a little bit, like, down here in the tip of my nose. But that's about it. It's really oily on my chin. Just pretty much the middle of my face. Um, everywhere else, it looks really good. Like, nothing is faded or breaking up. But even with it oily, nothing is breaking up. It's just really dewy. Um, so I'm pretty impressed actually because a lot of foundations break up. I am a little red over here, but again, I blew my, my nose. So, and look at the lips. I went in. Oh my gosh, I had a bowl of oatmeal. Now, just <laughs> no mercy, no mercy. Um, but this is on, I had this on all day as well. I did not touch it up or anything like that. And, um, I think it looks pretty great i think i'm gonna have to buy like a lot more colors because for it to be wet and wild i think it's like 4.99 right the the liquid lipsticks from wet and wild let me use my kat von d blotting powder and oh my gosh look how look how great that looks There we go. Good as new. <laughs> Alright, so that is it for the uh, Lottie London Selfie Ready Foundation. I would wear it again. Obviously, I don't think I'd wear it if I'm going to be out all night. I, I mean, I'm just going to gravitate towards my Urban Decay or Estee Lauder for that. But I would wear this again. I... I love the coverage and for it to last this long and just not break up or anything it's it's good so I'd give it like a B plus right if I had to grade it I'd give it a B a B plus <laughs> I don't know and I really love the liquid lipstick as well there's a lot that it would have just crumbled off or anything yeah 
so that's it guys thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video i hope it helped you out um i don't know and finding a new foundation um if you're dry if you have dry skin i think you can still wear this i don't see this being a problem for you dry skin girls out there but yes if you're like really really oily you just might have to play around with it i will as well um i'm always learning new ways and tricks you know to keep my oils away but anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a great week ahead and I will see you in my next video. Bye!